Let's look at the standard state free energy difference for a chemical reaction, the atomization of H2. I can write the chemical reaction, H2 molecules breaking down into H2 atoms. And if I'm talking about the standard state free energy difference, that means I'm talking about the delta G, the difference in free energy between the standard state, one atmosphere of hydrogen atoms, and one atmosphere of hydrogen molecules. I can plot that versus temperature. I need to know the enthalpy difference, standard state enthalpy difference, and the standard state entropy difference. Because delta G versus T is a straight line with a slope, delta S, and a intercept, delta H. So let's look at that. What is the enthalpy difference for this chemical reaction? Well, I don't really have to go to a table or look anything up because all that is happening here is I'm breaking the hydrogen-hydrogen bond and making hydrogen atoms. And if you break a bond, that requires energy. So this is an endothermic chemical reaction. Breaking bonds always requires energy, so delta H for this is positive. What about delta S? I can also get delta S without looking at a, at a table or doing a calculation, because all I need is the sign of delta S, not the magnitude, just like delta H. So delta A S is positive for this. I'm going from one molecule to two atoms. I'm increasing the number of particles. When I increase the number of particles, I increase the number of microstates. I can distribute the energy over more equivalent microstates for two atoms than one molecule. So delta S will be positive. So I have a positive y-intercept for this straight line. And delta S is positive, so T is always positive. So this negative sign means the slope will be negative. So I can sketch out a plot of delta G standard versus T with a positive y-intercept and a negative slope. So this is just a sketch of what the plot of delta G standard versus T looks like for the atomization of hydrogen gas.